Hi, I'm Dave Justice with Spool Tech Lures, and we're going to talk about tying your, your Spool Tech lure to your leader material. Um, basically, I use a variation of a bowline, which is actually a knot created for rope. So I'm going to show it with heavy fluorocarbon leader. I use the uh, diamond presentation in pink. Um, in this case, it's 80, so we can see it um, in the video. And you start off by tying an overhand, overhand knot in your, in your leader, run it through the eye of the lure, back through the hole in the leader, one turn around, and then put the, the tag in through the hole. The key is tightening the hole first. And then when you tighten it up, the tag end points down. Okay, we're going to tie this, this knot, the, the bowl and loop, in the uh, spool tech lure with this high vis mono. Basically, you start out by tying an overhand knot, leave about three inches, <laughs> about two and a half to three inches of, of tag, go through the eye of the lure, back through the hole the way that the line came out, and then pinch it one turn around and through the hole. The key is tightening again the, the tag or the main line. And that's the pre-knot, and then that's it, pulled tight. Now I'm going to go over one other thing with you real quick, and this is 80 pound leader. So with 80 and higher, I, I recommend one turn in the knot, and anything like 60, 50, 40, and down, you want to do at least two turns in the knot. So basically you go through the hole, back through the loop, and here we're going to do two turns around. We're assuming this is 50 or 60 through the hole, again, tightening the tag in, and pull it up. And then basically that's a two-turn bowling. And you can, and with 30, you'd probably want to do at least three turns. All right, so that's the bowling loop knot, and the one advantage of it is it gives you free swinging action with the lure. It also keeps the tag in pointing down where it doesn't pick up as many weeds.